if you just said at the start of the season that we might actually be in a title race, I would never have believed you. But the facts are clear. We are a bloody good side and it is exciting to watch. Welcome back to another episode of Outcast to Icons with me, the face of the Locomotiva Manager's dartboard. If, of course, you are enjoying the series, do smash the like button. It really does help out with all that jazz. So today we've got a run of fixtures against what, in theory, should be slightly easier games. That's the plan anyway. And I'm hoping that we can pick up a few points in there, really start to get going and just see where we kind of land. I think we'll know more about us once we've played once we've played the full first round of fixtures. So after nine games, I think I'll have a much better idea of what kind of level we're looking to play at this season. And I'm really happy with the way the team's playing at the moment and hope you are too. But I did want to simply draw attention to this because this is just wonderful. Oh my God, you played a friendly against Lesti. My grandpa was born there and lived there for the first 30 years of his life. He used to spend summer holidays there as a kid. It's a village that has no more than 300 people and their stadium is literally a field where they bring their cows and sheep to eat. You love to see it, quite simply. I'd like to believe our stadium is like that, but I'm afraid that the cows in the prison, it's just, I don't know, that doesn't really work, does it? But thank you for sharing, Alex. In addition to that, we have actually sold 64 season tickets this year. I don't know how many were to cows. I, I, is that allowed? But apparently that's one down from last year. So maybe someone got hungry. I, I don't know. I don't know the situation, the logistics of this whole thing. But I do have a little update from a man, Sasso Jureski. Um, Obviously, sadly, I say passed away. His hip passed away last season in a, a very sad jet ski accident. He has now launched, though, Juretsky's jet skis. Um, he's turning it into a positive thing. And I, I think that's good for his career. And those of you that missed out on this, I think you will have done, actually. Little little Easter egg for you. Go back and look at the thumbnail for the first episode of this series, the transfer episode of this season. For a little little extra, just look a bit closer. You might have a little surprise. We're playing Drita. Let's do a selection of ice. Uh, actually, let's not, because they only want to change that around. And I'm actually quite happy with the way the team looks right now. They'd only want to put some randos on the bench. And I'm fairly comfortable with our current lineup. Um, still, of course, unsure about the whole Trek thing. Although he is actually apparently getting used to the role. Nicely done. Some of you may also wonder why there was no video yesterday. I did talk about this in the introduction, but it's only going to be six days a week. So Sunday through Friday, Saturday, a day off to regroup, get back to things, maybe allow you to catch up if you are behind potentially. And uh, yeah, I wanted to go for quality over quantity. And I hope that's what we've done so far. So you can certainly see that some performers in this team have done well. Others, I'm looking at you, Martin Chaos, have not done so well. But I do wonder if that's because he's getting caught out because of the fact that Manashevsky's pushed so far up. Maybe we can make some changes to deal with that later. But right now, I'm fairly happy. Oh, my assistant's gone back to sleep again. Night, night, Vladko. Sweet dreams, sweet prince. Despite our good performances as of late, we have nevertheless lost two games in a row. There's a lot of burger vans in there. That's actually three burger vans now. They're, they're multiplying, friends. Today, I want to see a better performance. Although, actually, I'd settle for the same level of performance from an attacking standpoint if we could just be a bit more stable at the back, don't concede off of every shot we uh, face. You know, that general things, the easy, the basics, the ABCs of football, so to speak. Um, and hopefully put this uh, relatively poor, currently, side in the dust. Malian, out on this right-hand side. That's a bit more speed from him. Lovely. Can he find that right... Oh, no, he can't. But Chaos might. Oh, well, lovely balling. God, oh, it's tipped over the crossbar. Haven't seen us really get our foot on the ball yet and start playing a bit of our... This is more like it. There we go. Start playing through them a bit. Galushko, looking for the run. Nice build up. Can he slip it around the side? Oh, what a pass! Manashevsky, and it's a great block, and that is more like it. Uh, Zajazzy definitely looked like the worst team in the league. This is and Rushi's header is on target. Okay, set piece magic now. Malian's ball throw, and it's headed over by Pelt. Here we go, Abdul. We've got in behind their midfield now, which is where we can be very dangerous. Just drop it off, Galushko. Okay, that'll do. Oh, Yankolovsky! Oh, and he's missed again. Great ball through, and Yankolovsky had to hit the target. Tosevsky now with a free kick. Can we just sneak one in? Goalkeeper's well there. Makasovsky finds Galushko. Can he take his man on? He does. Galushko's through. Shoots. And it's well saved by Petrovsky again. The first half continues. Galushko. Makasovsky's made the run. He's actually into space here. He might just have to shoot. And it's a good save from the goalkeeper once more. And... Surely this drought of goals, when we're creating as many chances as we are lately, is bound to end eventually. Malian's ball through, and Rushi's now header over the bar. 
Remember the corner for Yankolovsky? He's probably going to be able to shoot from there, but he might be able to pick out a back post cross. Finds Malian! Saved and it's in the back of the net. David Malian scores his first goal for Vileshka, and you cannot say that has not been coming. This first half has been an absolute onslaught, particularly for the last sort of five or six minutes. They simply cannot handle us. The runs are all over the place. Lovely ball around the side from Chaos. That's a great ball. And then, well... Malian just makes a little run infield this time, gets his shot away. Keeper should do better than that. He's made some great saves, but he couldn't keep that one out. 1-0 Vileshka, come on. I'd say that's a fairly deserved lead at halftime, which is excellent. Keeps us in the battle. Really happy with that. Yankolovsky, oh, there's, oh, there was passes on there. Malian again. Bit of an overload here. Can he find that back post cost? Manashevsky cleared. And Yankolovsky's shot is well blocked again by the goalkeeper. Wow. Come on, lads. Second goal. Put this game to bed and we can chill. Galush goes ball in and it's going to come back to him. Can he find the right pass? Go short for Makasovsky. Back to Galushko. Cheeky at the near post. Just stoppage time to see out now. Only 1-0. Bit disappointing not to have scored more, but the most important thing here was just getting a win. Uh, getting back on the scoreboard as far as some points again. Oh, hello. Oh, Spierkowski could have found a great pass through the middle there. We may still do. Magomayev, the Russian. Around the side for Abdul. Bit of space for him, perhaps. Drops it around the side, Yankolovsky, and it's blocked again and cleared away. They've done a lot of good blocking today, Dorita. That's been their key thing. And now they actually outnumber us three on four. Please no. Great tackle from Papuchev. That's great work from him. Might even keep the ball in play. Nope, just runs it out. That's fine. Just see out the one nil. Ismail's ball over the top. And Davkov will come and collect it. 20 seconds to go. It's not been a pretty performance overall in terms of the actual number of goals or anything, but we have got the win in a fairly dominant um, performance on, on paper, I suppose. But, oh, hang on. There's the one last thing here. Yankolovsky! Can't wrap it up with one more chance towards the very end of this game, but they have all played very well creatively. Lots of good passing movement, and it's going to be a 1-0 win for the Leicester here. Really, really important win. Keeps us in third, or puts us into third, I should say. Oh, Spierkowski! Oh, the hero from last season couldn't get on the end of it as well. We're going to threaten and grab goals this year. You feel it. We can't always be this underperforming our XG in games. We're surely going to come round eventually. And again, the pressure is on. Spikoski nearly in behind for a third time in a row. And will the referee finally blow the bloody whistle in this match? There it goes. Vileshda won. Drita Nilas Gostivar score a late goal, which might see them go back above us. Yeah, I think the 1-0 was just about fair, you might say. <laughs> Great performance from the lads. That is tremendous. Come on. Right, going to play a few games of camera, back in a sec, as per. We're also going to have a look at what happened in the Europa League and the Champions League to see if our uh, spreadsheet needs updating. We went away to Vardar and we got ourselves a 1-0 victory. Classic stuff. Chaos with the ball in. Galushka, sorry, Galushko with the header. 1-0 was all she wrote. We've had to get a couple of these to scrape ourselves back in, but yet again, you can see strong performance from us, just really struggling right now to meet the expectations of the, the amount of chances we're getting. Like... Um, Jankolowski's played well, he's just not scoring the chances he's got, sadly, and that's been a real problem for him so far. However, we then went to the bottom club, or at home to the bottom club, rather, and Jankolowski, from the penalties, but finally scored his first goal of the season. We wrapped the game up in the 86th minute with who else but Ermin Anrushi, his fourth goal of the year. Again, solid performance from us, this time finally sort of met our... Uh, our expectations of this game. We'd have liked to see a few more goals at the end of the day, though. These guys, this was their eighth consecutive defeat. They're t bottom of the league, no points, but pretty, pretty much whipping boys in this league. And also, it's nice to see um, Malian actually really starting to put in some good performances for us now. I'm excited by it. And that was three wins on the bounce without conceding. And then we finally started to play like the team that are creating the chances we are, quite simply. Comes to the edge of the box. Abdul with a brilliant strike in the bottom corner. Paula would be proud. 1-0 to Vileshka. Then moments later, really, uh, out of nowhere, essentially, we were able to make it 2-0. Chaos getting the ball here. Classic stuff. Ball to the back post. There was Toseski having to play at left wing because Galushko was on international duty. 2-0. But then I decided I'd make a, a substitution up front just to freshen things up in the strike force. So I thought I'd bring on Llama. And uh, he just set the world on fire here, gets the ball and just drives and drives and drives and hammers it home from a tight angle to make it 3-0. But then he thought, no, 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 the Llama can do better. And then he did this, which is absolutely mental when you consider what division we're playing in. Makasovsky gets it, Llama with one touch, and then he chips the goalkeeper from the edge of the area. Like, Yankolovsky has managed one goal this season in all of his appearances. The Llama comes off the bench and brags a brace in 15 minutes, including that absolute madness as well. So I think he might well have just earned himself a start today against Orid in the derby. They want revenge. I want to throw them in a lake. We both get what we want. As now, we are firmly in the title race. It is phenomenal. The only two teams we've lost to this season were the two teams around us. Frustrating as well. I think we've played well in both of those games. Seven wins out of nine. We are only one point off the top of this league. We're not scoring as many goals as the other teams around us. That's inevitable. But I'd like to think that now we're starting to see a little bit more of that. The cohesion starting to really be uh, back to where it is 
you know, and obviously the last four wins have all come against the bottom seven, bottom four sides, but we had to get the wins and we did. No goals conceded, best defense in the division, which is really surprising. Uh, and rushi has been phenomenal, best average rating in the entire league. I'm excited about what's to come. And I think the Lama has more than earned himself a chance to start up today. If you just said at the start of the season that we might actually be in a title race, I would never have believed you. But the facts are clear. We are a bloody good side and it is exciting to watch. Sounded like a limerick there, didn't it? But just quickly, we must check on the other European competitions. Other, he says, as if this league counts. And they beat Man City in the final, so that's not going to change things. City have already, they're already both off the list. And the Europa League was won by Inter in extra time over Zenit in the Europa League final. Now, again, neither of these sides are uh, manageable either due to the rules of the save. So that has not affected things at all. But I imagine things will start to get tasty when the Europa Conference League gets switched on. And I think that is this season. In fact, let's have a look, see if it is. It is. Oh, that could be a, a bit of a, a problem for us at some point in this save. It is weird actually even thinking about this competition existing and the others existing too, compared to us. It, it honestly feels like they're playing a different sport. So today we've had cows, we've had llamas, and hopefully today we're just going to win the match. That's the main thing. So I will do a selection advice as well, but I do yeah, I will get Kaluska. I'm happy that Tuseski can cover that role for us. It's really nice to see. My assistant keeps wanting to switch these two over, but I really like it. Yankolovsky for me, I love him. I do. But I feel like the Lama's performance off the bench in that game, in that role, deserves a start in the derby here. He's shown me something, and that's all I can really ask for at this level. Everything else, though, will remain the same. A few players have had themselves recalled from loans because their clubs weren't happy that they weren't playing. And I say, be better. Get good. Get a better chair. Assistance back to sleep, no surprises there. He did wake up for a bit, but to be fair, what do you expect from him? However, we did play against the 4-4-2 in the last game and beat them 4-0. I'm excited. Let's go. Because if we do the double at the penitentiary over these absolute lake monsters, I'll be extremely happy. Particularly as there's a chance for us to go top today. And I really do believe that we're good enough to make it happen. Now, Orid, it seems like there's a three-team breakaway at the top of the league. Um, at one point, I thought it was going to be a two-team breakaway with us sort of occupying that third spot. But that being said, a win for Ori today could pull them back in, but a defeat here against us could really start to cut them adrift a little bit, and I really do want that. Out to Toseski. The players are really starting to gel really nicely. Some of this stuff on the edge of the box can just be destructive to other teams. Toseski, Galushko. Oh, it's going to be a corner to us. Will Toseski keep it in? He does. Oh, and it's a good save. Really nice football again, though. And Rushi is just a god. Look at that for a pick out. The one thing we don't have now is without Yankolovsky through the middle, Lama doesn't have the same area. Oh, wow. He's missed it. Ha, ha, ha. That's what you get. You're not a llama, are you? No, you're a duck. Uh, Ismaili, with a long range effort here, should be an easy one for Davkov, but already have shown something because Yankolovsky is so good at winning those headers, holding that ball up for us. And I don't know if the llama can do that. And maybe it was a mistake starting him. But after those two goals, I felt like he deserved it because Yankolovsky just simply wasn't scoring for us. Abdul, Maili and out wide right. Can he get to the box? Back from Massachusetts. Oh, that was a pubes width away. This game's actually tighter than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Like trying to squeeze down a hole in a cliff. If you've ever been spelunking, you know what I mean. I've never been spelunking. I imagine that's what it's like. I don't know. Davkov will presumably try the long ball again. Occasionally, he aims these out wide, and we do get a bit of joy from that. But no, he's gone over the top. But it's Makasovsky that's got on the end of this, actually. Is there a runner, though? There is! It's Galushko! Oh, dearie me. Oh. Yeah, clap all you like, mate, but that was not for you. It's the top with the long ball. Toseski's so tall in those areas. He's actually really good when he goes back post as well, uh, when he plays further up, because he does have that height advantage. Galushko, ball through, and Asani's off the bench, and it's clipped off the post. A little kiss on the way through. Now, obviously, Orid are a better side than some of the teams we've played lately, but I'd still say we're probably just about edging it, uh, in fairness, so I'll take it. Toseski, that is one thing. We aren't going to score those balls in behind very often, because we don't have the runners anymore, and that's not the style of play that we're looking to use here, and I'm all right with that, to be fair. We're more looking at picking up those second balls and looking for the intricate passes in behind. Got to be careful, though. He's broken the deadlock here. No. And it's clipped off the crossbar. I'm sorry. Is Yankolovsky playing for them as well? Right, we're making the change. Yankolovsky's on. So Spierkowski. Want to try and mix things up a little bit. Try and fire ourselves through the remaining 25 minutes of this match and see if you can find a winner of the derby. No. Oh, just as I dissed him. I dissed Dizlievsky too soon. And a great save from Davkov and Dizlievsky was able to get on the end of the rebound. I thought we'd cleared the danger and it is now Vileshta nil, Orid one. Good ball in. Um, an unbelievable save from Davkov, but uh, there's nothing he can do about that. Right, okay. Now things get fancy. It is not looking good at the moment and we might well slip down to third place potentially with this defeat. And the last thing we want to do is lose to these mugs. And, oh God, he's in space now. They'd offered next to nothing before scoring, but since then, they've actually been quite good, unfortunately. Spikoski. 
Oh dear. And unfortunately, we've also kind of fallen asleep today. Uh, Velkowski down the left-hand side now. And, oh, you cheeky bastard. They really are rubbing it in now, aren't they? And the door... Oh, I get the feeling the third match of this derby this season is going to be an absolutely feisty bastard because today has just been one of those days that we've just not been good enough. For the first time, really, this season, I felt we'd just not been creative enough in this game. We were doing okay until they scored their first goal. And since then, we've had to push and we've been caught out. I can't argue with the scoreline here. They've been much, much better in this second half. I think that starting the Lama over Yankolovsky was a bad idea. Obviously, Enrushi's still putting in a solid performance, but you could see, I think we didn't do anything in the second period. Like, and they hadn't done much up until their goal, but since then, yeah, that, that was it. They, they really did kill us after that, and that's frustrating to lose at home in the derby. I thought that was a big chance for us to really go top. Well, not go top, but go right up there. But uh, this league is still going to be tough, but the fact that we're even in the battle is actually crazy. So I'll take that. Just a bit of a second-half capitulation combined with the fact that we probably had our least creative performance of the season so far. Uh, but still, we're very much in the, in the conversation, which is the main thing. Particularly as these three teams just look dead and buried right now. So, next episode, of course, we're going to start off against Tetex Tatovo, who... Did we beat them this season? Yes, we did. 4-2, in fact. And then maybe do a bigger chunk of games uh, in that. Or maybe come back to Cadino after that. Really start to move through things. I just want to ease in, see how the game speed's working. So, if you've enjoyed this episode, and I hope you have, drop a like. That'll be massive. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. That'll be brilliant as well. Stream on Twitch, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturday. Come over and have a good time over there with us as well. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more Macedonian madness. Thank you so much for watching. Hold your gun. Capybara. Bye-bye.